Hey, good morning. Morning. Hey, yo. My way. Also, she just did an impression of a little bird yeah. uh, with one hand. Uh, that was just back at you from the greeting you gave the wake-up uh, call listeners. Yeah, sure. That's true. That was just my, back that's at my you. general hi. Good morning. <laughs> Wayne, good morning. Good morning, young man. Alex. Morning. And uh, Tyler. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. Oh, um, I want to talk about a charity event really quickly before uh, we start the show. Uh, and it's uh, an annual fish fry and carnival put on by the Lions Club. Uh, and it is a free event, and it helps a bunch of charities, including Children's Hospital of Orange County. Friday, June 3rd, Saturday, June 4th, Sunday, June 5th at Lions Park. And it's been around for 75 years. Uh, no, it's put on uh, by uh, this group, not uh, the Lions Park is where it's at. And it's a whole day, fish dinners, uh, three days, carnivalized games, rock and blues, uh, bands, booths, I mean, all of it. Uh, 75 years they've been, they've been doing this, and it's great fun to help the charities. I'm going to be there. Uh, I don't know which day I'm going to be there, but you'll recognize me. I'll be the bald guy wearing a mask uh, and uh, wearing a $15 crossover on his shirt. So I'll be very easy to spot. Oh, and possibly right, white socks and black shoes or mandals. Uh, yeah, yeah, and shorts. And shorts. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's me. So anyway, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, June 4th, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Lions Park. And uh, got a, you know, it's just the 75 years this group has been doing this. <laughs> and fish fry. Okay, and that's fried fish. Right. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you are. And uh, Tyler oh, is shaking oh. his head. Which you, that's early for you to shake your head. You know that, Tyler? <laughs> uh, I've come to find it's never too early with you, Bill. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. A uh, lot going on today, as usual. Uh, the uh, baby formula has arrived. As a matter of fact, handle on the news with uh, Jennifer, Wayne, and me. That's our lead story. No milk today. Military uh, airplane, uh, the C-17, that massive cargo airplane, uh, is, um, I don't know if that's the biggest plane, that or the Galaxy 5, uh, I don't know which is the bigger plane, uh, but anyways, uh, we have talked about uh, private aircraft, uh, you remember with the contracts for the Department of Defense to bring in from Formula over from Europe, no airplanes were available, so uh, the President started using cargo planes, which I thought were going to be U.S. Air Force. And uh, the first 78,000 pounds, the formula has arrived, uh, bought it in Switzerland, uh, flew it out, trucked it to Germany, and flew it out. I have no idea. Maybe there's an airport not big enough for the C-17 in Switzerland. No idea. But anyway, it arrived in Indianapolis, and that's the very first start. And you know how usually ridiculous uh, the names of various uh, operations are, you know, Operation, we're going to fly higher than anybody else, Desert Storm, uh, Desert Flyby, whatever the hell they were. This is Operation Fly Formula. Mm. Okay, how is that for a clever name? Now, I heard a rumor, Bill, that uh, there's something interesting about this load of baby formula, and I heard a rumor, separate rumor, that at 720, you are going to explain what that is. Oh, yes, I will. And uh, there is a lot to it also. It's a special kind of formula. It's not going to stores. Uh, I'll explain all that. Uh, it's, going, it's still going to not be in stores for uh, weeks for those people that are buying regular formula. I'll explain the whole thing to you. There's a lot. And uh, it's, it's really unfortunate. A lot of moving pieces. Well, President Biden has announced 12 countries have now signed on to a new trade pact. He says this new Indo-Pacific economic framework will help the U.S. more closely with Asian economies to improve supply chains, digital trade, clean energy, and anti-corruption efforts. The United States is deeply invested in the Indo-Pacific. We're committed for the long haul. Now, the pact does not include Taiwan, which is a major supplier of computer chips. And I, I think we can't go on without talking about Taiwan and the fact that the president also said that the U.S. would get involved militarily 
Should China try and take on Taiwan? He was asked by this reporter why he was in Japan if the U.S. would get involved with the military in defending the island nation. Yes. You are. That's the commitment we made. That's the commitment we made. Now, of course, Biden comments drew a sharp response from the mainland. Yet a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson who said, don't underestimate the resolve for China to protect its territorial integrity. China has claimed Taiwan is a rogue province. Yeah, it's, that was an interesting one. Complete gaff took the senior advisors by storm. I mean, just flipped them out. They didn't know. Isn't it, this like the third time, though, that he's made some comments yes. about defending Taiwan? Yes. And then his staff has had to go, no, 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 what he actually meant. I yeah, mean, well, he had to. Well, I mean, look at the difference. Uh, Ukraine, uh, which is uh, under bombardment, uh, a real humanitarian issue going on. The United States will not get involved militarily other than ship arms uh, and uh, invoke the sanctions. Taiwan, which also is not part of any treaty, it was going to protect them, uh, like the, uh, the Article 5 of uh, NATO. Uh, the president said, yeah, we're, we're going to go to war. We're going to defend Taiwan. Did and, he mean, but did he, I think, did he just not understand that what he was asked was direct U.S. military presence in Taiwan, and he thought it was more... General support, or I think, military I support. I don't know. Well, let me ask and, you this. Let me ask you this. He wasn't. He was answering like a. Different I don't know when he went on. When yeah. he went. When he went on to say, and we're going to kick the fried rice out of every oh, single. Boy. Boy. He didn't no. say that. No. Well, no. Listen but, again to what he said. So here's, the, he here's the question. Yes. You are. That's the commitment we made. Yeah, but I need to hear the question. Okay, so the, the question was, from this reporter, it was a CBS reporter who said, would the U.S. get involved militarily in defending the island nation from an oh, attack? Now, you could say okay, that... that's oh, too broad. Think, that is too broad. When you think, think we're doing the same thing with Ukraine, quote, militarily supplying military arms. That's what I good. wonder if yeah, that's, that's what the way met. they're going to come back. That's, that's how it's they're going to say it. It's perfectly legitimate that that's what he yeah, meant. It took everybody's so everybody, loop. everybody's freaking <laughs> out over a question that wasn't worded yeah, specifically ex enough to warrant this freak out. Except you know what he was actually saying. It was a No, gap. we don't. Yes, yeah, so we do. Uh, we'll be back. This is where uh, this is where you're wrong and I'm right. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, Jennifer, you want to take it from here? Sure. More kids could soon be protected against COVID-19. Pfizer just revealed overnight its vaccine is 80% effective in kids six months to five years old after three doses. As we were just talking about, President Biden is vowing to defend Taiwan if China invades. He admits he'd be willing to use some sort of military force if it comes to that. And a couple in Wisconsin's out of the hospital after being attacked by a bear. They say the animal broke into their home Friday night as their kids were sleeping. They had opened the window to yell at the bear after they saw it, uh, eat, like, eating out of a bird feeder. Your SoCal weather from KFI is mostly sunny today. Highs from the mid-60s at the beaches to the upper 80s inland. By the way, your weather is brought to you by the driveway.com weather center. This report is brought to you by ARCO, quality top-tier gas for less, now with a credit card. Let's get a look at that drive on the 215. That's Riverside on the southbound side near University. It's a truck that lost its trailer, and that has the left lane taken right now. 215 southbound, not looking too crazy bad for your drive. Northbound side is where it is going to be heavy for you as you come out of the Moreno Valley or Moreno Valley area. Uh, northbound side of 215, uh, leaving Moreno Valley from Eucalyptus past the emergency 60 toward a UCR on the Riverside Interchange. Definitely busy for you there. Got an update on this problem or anything else slowing you down? Pound 215 or cell phone. Keyword KFI traffic westbound side of the 91 Riverside through Corona. Heavy stretches of slowing for you overall from before Magnolia to the 241 full road. KFI in the sky helps get there faster. I'm Nick Polly Okini. All right, if you've been thinking about selling your house because maybe something awesome just happened in your life, you are having a baby. You just got your dream job, and it's in, let's say, Utah. How in the world are you going to sell your house, or how are you going to buy a house that fits your big, growing family? You just go to opendoor.com. This is going to be the easiest, stress-free way to sell your house. When you go to opendoor.com, you just put in your address, give them a little info about your house, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, that kind of thing. Within minutes, you're going to get an offer for your home. And the best part is, you're not going to have to do the repairs yourself. You're not going to have to do the prep work yourself, 
and you're not going to have all those strangers running through your house and you have to keep it perfect for the listing and showing. With opendoor.com, you just sell your house to them. It is so easy. I went through the process. Not only did I get my offer in minutes, but it was for more than I was expecting for my house. So sell your home the new-fashioned way, the stress-free way, at opendoor.com slash KFI. Offer eligibility varies. Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage Inc. License number 02061130 in California and Open Door Brokerage LLC in its other markets. Sell your home the new-fashioned way at opendoor.com slash KFI. Arco now takes credit cards. They now total game changer. They'll give you a moment to process the news. And time. Stop by a station today and see for yourself. Arco, quality top tier gas for less, now with a credit card. See arco.com for details. This report is sponsored by WDC Kitchen and Bath Center. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. In 2022, where is your best chance at finding the appliances you need Ouch. at the best price in stock and ready to deliver? WDC Kitchen and Bath Center. Go to WDCAppliances.com. WDCAppliances.com. Saving money feels pretty good. All state. Better protection costs a whole lot less. Visit allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. Accident attorneys, my name's Denise. How can I help you? Hi, I just got into an accident earlier today, and the car ran a red light, and hit me pretty hard. I'm having a lot of back pain and head pain. Um, car's really damaged too. I just didn't know what to do. I've heard you guys all over the radio, so I wanted to give you a call. Well, I'm so sorry to hear you're going through this today. I'm really glad you called us, and we'll make sure you're taken care of. Getting seriously hurt in an accident is a terrifying experience. After you've called 911, let Sweet James Accident Attorneys be your next call. The award-winning attorneys at Sweet James have devoted their lives to helping victims of injuries after an accident. That's all they do. They are there to answer the call and help you get the medical treatment needed while they ensure you get the best compensation possible. Pay nothing until they win. Call anytime. 800-500-5200. 800-500-5200 or SweetJames.com. If you've been injured, you got to call Sweet James. Hey, kiddo. Ready to catch that movie? Mm, almost. Wallet, phone, keys, mask. Yep, all set. Mask? That's not required, is it? No, but it's going to be busy and crowded, so I'll feel better with it on. Deep right? It is open at night. Let me grab mine. Nice! You'll pass the vibe check, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a mask when it can help protect you and others is just one way to keep each other safer. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. There's passionate disagreements as to how to deal with homelessness. Mm. Most people agree you should not rub your groin against others without their consent. What is the passionate disagreement when your policies have led to thousands of people dying in the street? They won't admit that, though. John and Ken. The people are dead. We'll blame you. We need it, too. I gave a lot of tax money. They said they were going to fix this. They didn't fix it. It got worse. On KFR. <laughs> Six forty, good handle here. Monday morning, May twenty third. Uh, we continue to handle on the news uh, with Jennifer Jones Lee, Wayne, and me. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky made a virtual speech on the first day of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, where he urged the world to impose the maximum sanctions on Russia. He wants a complete oil embargo. He wants every single bank block. He wants all trade with Russia completely cut off. That's getting into cutting off our noses to spite our face globally speaking. These are the things that we have not had an appetite to do because of the level of harm uh, it brings on ourselves. Uh, have you noticed what's missing in his statement? What military uh, uh, soldiers, soldiers on the ground, on the ground from everybody, the no-fly zone, mm -hmm. uh, asking for additional arms because they're coming in like crazy, uh, and he is asking for, in many cases, straight out money, saying that it's costing Ukraine five billion dollars a month. And so, if you have the European Union has offered almost twenty billion dollars, that's four months. Uh, we have offered forty billion dollars, but eight months. Uh, so as this thing goes on and on, and it becomes back burner stuff, 
because you get fatigued. You know, the news cycle goes on. There's new news coming up. So uh, for Ukraine, this has to end very quickly in order for them to get out of it. It's been going and going, and Russia can keep, just Russia can keep on going and just throw uh, arms and people or uh, soldiers at it, and uh, they haven't yet mobilized like uh, countries do during full wars. Ukraine doesn't have the ability to mobilize the way Russia does, and uh, Putin is actually. It's interesting how Putin has not gone balls to the wall on this. Would you care to speculate on why? Assuming he can, I'm not so sure he can. But assuming he can, would you want to speculate as to why he's not? Yeah, I think uh, if he does, uh, it may it may trigger a war with the rest of, uh, with the Western allies, the United States. Uh, if uh, yeah, it, it, it's because he's willing to do it, and it's going to scare. Finland and Sweden and Moldova and other countries, Lithuania, Estonia, that are in that area, and they are now going to mobilize. So we've got a real problem here. It's not just Ukraine. It's the rest of it. Uh, let's move on. We'll talk about that later. I mean, we can spend 20 minutes on that alone. All right. Pfizer now says three small doses of its COVID-19 vaccine protected for under five. This all came out overnight. The drug maker says it plans to give the data to U.S. regulators this week. And it's 18 million kids right now under five who are the only group in the U.S. not yet eligible for the COVID-19 vaccination. Well, yeah, this is 80% effective. The people are going, oh, you know, it's still that's not as effective as we wanted yesterday because uh, maybe 80% effective in terms of getting COVID, uh, only 80%. But the hospitalization is going to get drop dramatically. And I'll talk more about that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, the, uh, the, there's a lot to this, unfortunately. And uh, people just don't want to ask me, particularly their kids. Which I, I just think kids particularly would want to vaccinate. Oh, parents, a lot of parents that I have spoken with are happy.